Good morning, Waterford School. It's Andrew Menke speaking to you from my office on our relatively quiet Tuesday morning from campus. The Fine Arts Quad is beautiful this morning, and I'm happy to be back on campus. Um, as we push into the end of June and close the chapter on arguably one of the most challenging spring terms in Waterford's history, I just wanted to reach out and share my profound gratitude for all the many ways that you supported us through the spring, but specifically this morning for your generosity and support throughout the year, the Waterford Fund, which makes really everything we do every day possible. Nearly 565 families in our community have supported the annual fund so far this year, raising over $655,000. So thank you one and all for your support. And throughout this difficult spring, your philanthropic support of the Waterford Resilience Fund has allowed us to invest in faculty professional development to support distance instruction. In fact, just yesterday morning, our faculty began a four-week curricular redesign project that I think uh, we spoke to occasionally on some of our Zoom calls and, and in a letter here and there. Uh, we've also worked to update our facilities and make infrastructure improvements to follow health and safety recommendations for our return to campus instruction in the fall. And then finally, the Waterford Resilience Fund has helped to support families in need of financial assistance due to the economic impact of the pandemic. So far, 70 parents, alumni, faculty, and grandparents have contributed nearly $200,000 to support this important initiative. And there's still time to contribute. If you'd like to give to the Waterford Resilience Fund and uh, make a gift uh, of any amount, uh, please visit the Give section of the website until the end of August. And I thank you so very, very much for your support and your consideration. Time and again over these past three months, we've been reminded of the generous spirit and gracious goodwill that defines this remarkable community. I know the journey was long and taxing, but together we have made it. I thank you once again for all that you do for Waterford. Here we go. This is our attendance poem, It's the Days to Come, by Medora C. Addison. Now I shall store my soul with silent beauty. It was great to meet with you last week during our first virtual college counseling session. We know the ground has shifted underneath your feet in a number of ways in terms of your college process. Reporting live from California on Spring Break News. This story I'm going to tell you today um, is called A Whole Day in the Car for Nothing. some time thinking about the big picture of a biography research report. The fire truck is a big long truck and it's also an emergency vehicle. What that means is sometimes we need to get to places fast, like when there's a fire. And I wanted to just take a minute and talk about three self-care tips that I think are important and I hope you guys are all doing and I know I'm trying to do them right now. Thank you for being my teacher. I appreciate all your help. Oh, nice. See, I'm so proud of you guys.
the next one, we're gonna be doing bowling with golf balls. We don't have pins, so I set up some carrots. That answers some of our questions from our first day. So I'm going to sign off for our first digital assembly. Thanks for watching. Bye from Mr. Douglas and from Phil. Say bye, Phil.